Hey guys, and welcome back to Clannad. So, let's just jump right back in. She faces me with clear eyes. Doing that, she looks like a normal girl. But that's just what's in front of me. Before, Tomoya was known to be even scarier. And now, she's trying to walk away from it all. Facing forward. The whole time, she's been in the same place I am. Yet, the way we lived our lives was different. For now, I'll just be with her as I promised. As we spend time together, we won't feel as uncomfortable, and someday, we'll be able to laugh it all off. Until then, our relationship is miraculously amusing. Obviously, the place we'll both end up at will be completely different. Then, what's your reason for being calm? You want to know? Yeah, I do. And that's a secret. Now, isn't that grand? Isn't that fine? It's just like a girl to be keeping secrets, isn't it? You keep talking about how girls are, you know. Of course, I am a girl after all. Of course I think she's a girl, but her emphasis on the girl feels uncomfortable. Having said that, right now, you do realize I'm your senior, right? Of course, that's obvious. Did you realize that just now? Are you an idiot? The way you say that suggests that you noticed it just now. What's that? You seem disappointed. That's it. Should I treat you as a senior, Tamoya? Uh, no. I don't really want that. I'm just attracted to girls that are my underclassmen, that's all. Isn't that the same thing? What? If you really wanted that, you could have said so earlier. Alright, from now on, I'll treat you as my senior. You should be grateful. She hasn't changed the way she treats me at all. That's it. If you're my senior, do I have to call you Okazaki-senpai then? With honorifics too? <sighs> Forget it, it's too much trouble. She becomes discouraged after five seconds. To begin with, are you attracted to such girls, Tomoya? If I think carefully about it, I'm quite the opposite. You're quite right. Oh, what's that mean? Sarcasm? It is sar- it is sarcasm, right, Tomoya? Guys want girls that they can protect and love. That's obvious. That's why they're strong and girls can be weak. I see. But you see, Tomoya, even I'm weak. I'm hurt when you say or when you say it like that. I unintentionally burst into laughter. Tomoyo trying to frantically appeal herself as a girl was strange. What? Why are you laughing? Did I say something strange? No, not really. Just that a lot of guys are like that. Occasionally, I think that. Occasionally, which means you're always different from them? Yeah. I see. Well, that's interesting. What kind of girl interests you, Tomoya? Leaning over, she asks that. You don't have to keep any secrets. Surprisingly, I can smell the fragrance of a normal girl. Share my secrets, huh? That's good. That's just like a girl. Right? But I'm a guy. Guys have to keep quiet. You idiot. If you're a guy, you should tell secrets like guys do. If a guy said everything, he'd be labeled as a pervert. Really? Hey, move back a bit, otherwise rumors will start spreading again. I say that, noticing the number of students increasing in my field of vision. Even though you say that, I don't mind it at all. Letting off a complaint, she moves back. Tomoyo stops walking and looks up. What is it? No, it's nothing. Saying that, she glances at me. Tomoyo is looking up ahead at the Sakura tree. You were staring up a while ago, weren't you? Do you like the soccer that much? I guess. Maybe I have grown to like it. Before, I didn't. That's just how, how it was. Well, liking is good. But if we continue, we'll be late. Yeah, sorry for stopping like that. Let's go. We begin climbing up the hill. Tomoya! Don't you feel it'd be lonely? How? I'm talking about if the soccer trees lined up here were cut down. 
Eh? Really? Are you really a student from this school? For now. I wonder how you know the details for students coming in so well. I'm not really interested in that sort of thing. So it seems. But I have to make sure. That's what this talk's for. Really? That's why I asked if you'd feel lonely. Well, if they disappeared, then I guess I would. Right? I'm sure that all the students in this school feel the same way. I wonder about that. Sunahara would probably just piss on them, smiling. Th that guy. Feeling dazed, her legs stagger. Come on, if we don't hurry, we'll be late. Y yeah We slipped through the entrance into a group of other students. Parting ways with Tomoyo, I head towards the classroom along that route. A small female student is peeking into the doorway of the classroom next door. Hmm. What's this? I've seen that figure before. But this is a third year classroom. So what's with this? Is she looking for someone? Could it be that she's looking for me? Couldn't be. We were never that close. First of all, she never even had a good impression of me. Because of this, that side of me is ignored when it does come out. Ah, oh, strange person is here! Nope, she wasn't referring to me since she's searching for that strange person. Please wait, strange person! What? You actually meant me? She tightly grabs the edge of my shirt. It's natural! Yes, you're the, you're the almost non-existent strange person! Appe appearing all alone in your tenth year. Maybe saying that isn't an exaggeration. No, Fuka wonders if that really isn't an exaggeration. Why, thank you. No need to thank Fuko. I never intended to. But before that, is it even possible for you to stop calling me that? Fuko forgot the name. It's okay if you forgot, but don't just start calling people strange person. It makes me seem like a dangerous guy, doesn't it? Well then, please tell Fuko your name again. Okazaki. Well then, Okazaki-san? Yeah? Finally, it seems like business is going underway. Okazaki-san, don't you have something to say to Fuko? Something to say? That's right. Um, Various unnecessary things we don't need. Earlobes are unnecessary. They have no use. I see. Okazaki-san, you're very impolite. Please be sure to remember that. If you remember about yesterday, remember the thing you said to Fuko. I lose myself in reminiscence for a while. I bet Tomoyo was being kicked by Sunahara right in front of her. And she couldn't recognize that kind of scene. Don't space out. Fuko told you. Fuko does not space out. No, that was just what I figured I should say to you. That's rude. Is it something else? Well, various things were happening. Yeah, I wonder. You really don't remember? Yep, looks like I don't. It's the present. Present? This. Fuku gives me an armful of wooden stars. Oh, I remember now. Wait, you said present? Yes, it's a present. From you to me? That's right. It's a present from the sh er, from the sharp Fuku to the strange Okazaki-san. I see. What happened to that anyways? If I remember correctly, Sunahara had thrown one over the gate like a frisbee. I'll just be quiet. In short, what she's looking for is... gratitude. But handing something over just like that doesn't need thanks or anything. Saying thanks obediently would be annoying. How much is it? I take out my wallet. It's a present! Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I give her my gratitude, much like Tani Mura Shinji, and leave. Please wait! She grabs onto the cuff of my clothes. What? You still have something you want? Classes are gonna start soon. Um, then... What do you want? Hurry up and say it. Fuko's sister is going to get married soon. Oh, is that so? And so, if it's okay with you, would you congratulate her with Fuko? Eh, me? Yes! Congratulations on the... Uh, congratulations on the wedding, Fuko's sister. See ya. That's not it! 
This time, she grabs my whole arm. What the heck? Didn't I just congratulate her? No! Do it on the right day! The right day? The wedding ceremony? Yes! Are you telling me to come to the ceremony? Yes! I refuse. Why? Didn't you like the present? The present has nothing to do with it. Even so, I didn't like it. I have no duty to congratulate your sister. In the first place, I don't even know you very well. Foucault's sister was an art teacher at the school. Was she? Then I might know her. She quit three years ago. And that means nothing to me. If she quit three years ago, no one, no one going to this school would have known her. Guess it's like that. It's obvious. All the students your sister taught would have graduated last year. In other words, that means none of the students here have any duty to or debt to your sister. How about the guy she's marrying? His name is Yusuke-san. He doesn't talk much, but he's a very nice person. I'm not asking about that. Does he have any connection to the school? None. Then neither of them have any link to the school at all. Looking discouraged, she rubs the stars she's holding, or she holds to her chest. Are you trying to gather people to congratulate her like this? Yes. Make presents for everyone and give them out? Yes. What should I say? In this situation, it would probably be best to tell her flat out. It's impossible. Huh? Don't you think? If you managed to do that, it'd be a miracle. Nowadays, a person who would congratulate someone who, they, who they've never seen nor know about, like your sister, that sort of person doesn't exist. Even if they're bored, since they're still going to school studying, uh, studying would take a higher priority. It was just something she did, thinking of her sister. She thought it would be nice to bring a lot of friends and congratulate her. That was it. She doesn't have to do something like that. You're really clumsy, aren't you? Yes. She opens her hands and shows me her palms. No, not that. Even with things as they are, you're going to try doing this? Yes, of course! An immediate reply. With those presents? Yes, Fuka hates to say it, but they're made really cute! Holding her star, she smiles. Being so single-minded like this, I'm weak, aren't I? <sighs> I get it. Do what you want. Okay. In exchange, stop hurting yourself. If you hurt yourself anymore, I'll force you to stop. Okay. You're fine with just replying, huh? Are you really okay? Fuku's fine. Fuku's more level-headed than you. I'm being looked down upon as well. Well then, Fuku will be going now. All right. Fuku runs off and calls to a boy I've never seen. What? Here. She presents a star. Huh? Oh, what's this? It's a present. For me? Yes. Th thank you. The student takes the misshaped star. Um, and... Yes? Soon, Fuku's sister is going to get married. Maybe if it's okay with you, could, or could you congratulate her together with Fuku? Huh? Who? Fuku's sister. Up until three years ago, she was an art teacher here. Um, if it was three years ago, I don't know her. The same responses as mine were being repeated. Ah, oh, what a long road she's on, is what I thought. From today onward, she's going to be going around asking person by person to do this. And I was the first. I don't have any plan to congratulate her sister, whom I've never seen, but even so, it'd be nice if she gathered a lot of people. That's what I think. Come to think of it, the stars I got. In that bush, there's no way I'll search. I feel a little guilty. And then the bell rings. I hurry back to the classroom. Boop doop. Recess. A ghost! The two people in front of my seat are looking over a reference book while talking. Yeah, it seems there are students who have seen her. The ghost of a female student. Really? It was some boring topic. Though I don't want to listen, I can still hear them. Someone who knows something about her said she's definitely a ghost. Are you serious? Yeah, actually, that girl. She was in a traffic accident two years ago. She's been in the hospital for so long, but it seems like no one can save her. She was just about to start attending school when she got into that accident. 
Unable to truly enjoy high school life, she'd become attached to this place, and she turned into the ghost who comes here to, er, to play. That's quite a sad story. But wouldn't it mean that? Hmm? The person who knew about the story is also a third year, right? Yeah. In other words, it's got to be that. Got to be what? They're trying to use our interest in the supernatural to divert us from our studies. Eh? In other words, they're trying to reduce their rivals. Hmm, that's definitely possible. It would be best not to take it seriously. You might be right, but that rumor seems to be genuine. If a TV station comes for a scoop, it could be a big uproar. No way it could. I wonder what Sunahara would do if he heard this story. He'd probably say, let's go check it quickly since it seems interesting, and then pull me along. I look at the empty seat beside me. Good thing he's not here. Besides, there's no such things as ghosts. Which I have to disagree. boop a doop Fourth period is now over as lunch break starts. Are we going to eat in the cafeteria today as well? Don't say it like you've always been here. Didn't you just arrive? True. But at least wave and greet me whoops, at least wave and greet me properly before you invite me for lunch. It's messed up if you don't. But saying good morning around this time isn't right. I guess so. Well, what should I do then? Well, um, react when you see me as you enter. First, act like you've just seen me as you enter. That would be better. How could I act like that? There are plenty of ways. For example, something like, Hey, isn't it Okazaki? It's been a while. How have you been? I feel great. Well, that definitely sounds like like I just saw you. I'll do that next time then. By the way, will she come again? I know who Sunahara is pointing out as he gives me a bored face. Who knows? She'll definitely come. You're her favorite after all. Isn't it the same with you? No way! There's nothing good at all about being liked like that. She said she's making lunch, so she'll probably make it someday. Can you really eat lunch? or eat with a straight face. What's wrong with that? Even though she'll make it, we don't even or we don't even know what it'll end up like. If she crushes potatoes with her bare hands to make potato salad, would you eat that? It's not like I won't eat it. Then how about thin slices of cucumber? She'll use her teeth and chop it up like that. I don't really mind eating that. Then how about a croquet? She'll mince up meat with her bare hands and put that in. That'll definitely be fine. Can you really eat meat mince from farm cattle that's still alive? Can someone actually do that? Is that what you really think? Eh? Sunahara's body shivers as he turns around. But there, Tomoyo wasn't angry at all. Did you... really think that I'd hurt cattle like that? Tomoyo bites her lip, bearing that regrettably. No, not her, just preparing the ingredients. That's still the same. The same figure as yesterday. The figure of a weak girl, a weak girl that is hit. I don't hurt cattle or anything like that. Not even cats or dogs or any animals. I'm, I'm being really ganged up on now. You're a boy, aren't you? Which means you shouldn't be picking on weak things. Wait, whoops, you're a boy, aren't you? Which means you shouldn't be picking on weak things. Yeah! Completely surprised at what I said, Tomoyo faces me and nods heavily. As expected of you, Tomoya. But you'll eat that beef, won't you? You... really are a schadenfreude, uh, schadenfreude, freude, I think? I don't know. A uh, type of guy, aren't you? Fine, I'll explain. Yes, I do know what that word means, by the way. <laughs> eh? Listen, people live in a very sinful, or live a very sinful life. But on the other hand, it's benevolent. She continues her mindless preaching. Boop doop. In other words, if you have something you want to say, stop! Time out, time out! Sunahara, unable to take it any longer, cuts her off with a loud voice. What? I was about to get to the important part. Um, how should I say? 
Look. Yeah, it's noon. Come on, let's go to the cafeteria. Uh, sorry. I was entrenched in my speech. All right, let's go. Look, if we don't hurry, the good bread's gonna disappear. Even if we have to hurry, you can't run down the hallway. I know that already. <laughs> hey, wait! I'm being nice by inviting you, aren't I? What? I don't really care about the bread. No, that's not what I meant. Come on, if we don't hurry, it really will be all gone. Yeah, you're right. I take the lead down the hallway. Heh. <laughs> I hear Sunahara's strange voice as if he's broken down. What's wrong with him? Eh? Oh, he's always like this. I see. He really is a disturbing person. In the end, there wasn't really any good bread left. Don't say that. If we eat while talking, it really will become delicious. Keh. Hmm? What was that just now? Did you say keh? N no Keh. Keh. It's just him crying. Don't mind him. This guy's crying. We can't help him anymore? You really were serious there. Well, worrying is normal, isn't it? What? So it was a joke? I would rather you don't joke around in ways that ruin my appetite before eating. This has always been the way we ate! Joking around and making a ruckus. If you lose your appetite because of that, then don't eat with us. Heh! How's that? You really are disgusting. You're not just bothering me, but everyone else as well. Ha! Like hell is anyone who has enough guts to say anything to us. Ah, oh, jeez, over there! There is, you know. You should be a bit more quiet while eating. Why are you telling us to be quiet? You're from a different class. You just bit yourself. Shut up about all that. Even then, I'm the class representative. From another class, right? Yeah. She walks away reluctantly. But that is all the time that I have for this episode, guys. So if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up down below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!